decent job of retreating. I gotta say, he has good micro. Decent micro here, but I think he just doesn't have enough in terms of an army. Now, looks like Jadong's finally caught up to him. Um, Gonzi's kind of stuck now with a small group of forces, forced to siege, and now Jadong is gonna come in from both directions. Uh, Lurker's in the tank area, and the tanks are gonna go down. Ling's coming in from behind, now just Medic Marines left, and that should be the it of Gonzi's game. That should be it for Gonzi, basically, the end of his game. I don't see how he can uh, come back from losing this main force here. I, I don't blame him for moving out, either. Um, it was definitely the correct move to make, but uh, unfortunately, Jainong just outflanked him in the center, as we saw. I don't know, though. I mean, it is so hard to control those large groups of units that... Uh, um, I guess, you know, even Jadong has to really focus on that. I mean, defilers are just hard to do. They really are hard to do. You have to really move them with much faster units, and you have to uh, get them close, but not too close. The Lings have to go in first so that the defilers don't down into the tanks, and then <laughs> and then you have to put the swarm down so the uh, Lings don't die to everything else. And then, of course, the Lurkers have to get into the swarm and all that good stuff. So um, not an easy feat to pull off, despite what you guys see, you know, in terms of uh, the Zergs doing it very well. So right now... Um, Gonzi trying to push forward again with a force, but Jadong just on top of it with more lurkers. Oh, brutal flank. Oh, amazing plague right there. That was one of the best plagues I've seen in a while. And, um, you know, it wouldn't have mattered anywhere else because, anyway else because um, I think the game was over. But that certainly helps to seal the deal here. Jadong, not the kind of player who uh, does ceremonies at the end of games uh, just because he's winning by a large margin. He likes to just make sure he gets the job done. Uh, you know, not going to do anything silly. So we'll see here what happens. Um, oh, Jadon going to walk into a bunch of mines. Whoa, mines didn't do anything there. That's a smart move, though, getting those mines. Unfortunately, Gonzi didn't do it earlier. <laughs> um, I think it would have been... I think it was pretty close, him being able to fight off those lurkers if he had just something other than cloaked raids, which unfortunately was the uh, most useless thing he could have had. And, you know, obviously he, he had a purpose for getting them. It was to defend against mutalisks and maybe even pull off a decent harass had there been mutalisks um, and, and not much else. But uh, I, I don't think it was necessarily the best idea to leave himself completely open on the ground um, and, and also going for that science facility early. I mean, if he's going to go cloak raids, follow it up immediately um, by medic marine I think is the right move to make not followed up by science vessels when you still don't have anything above unupgraded marines and vultures on the ground um, that just leaves my thoughts but anyway Jadon uh, looks like he's going to be able to defend this just fine ton of scourge there scaring those science vessels science vessels have done a lot of irradiate damage but once again I don't think it's been worth it it's managed to hold Jadon off but it's not the kind of thing that Gonzi can use to finish off um, any bases or anything like that. He just does, didn't have enough forces, and he couldn't defend with it either very well. Uh, ooh, nice uh, move there by Gonzi, managing to save all but one vessel. He still holds that tenuous hold over his side of the bridges, but um, out in the middle still, and that is not where he wants to be. He wants to be in one of the expansions doing damage, and Jadong just not allowing that to happen. Um, Gonzi also trying to attack from the right side. Jadong has the ramp on this side on the... Oh, man, on this left. Gonzi not noticing that he's getting ripped apart by one Lurker. That one Lurker with nine, ten kills. Jeez. Oh, man, Gonzi. Even Gonzi cannot handle this at the end. Um, and, uh, wow. I mean, I don't mind this switch back to Medic Marine. I actually think Medic Marine are more effective than mech builds at the end game because you have uh, so many science vessels, as you can see. But I just don't think the opening was great. I think I still like this build better than the fantasy build, to be honest, though, even though I did say the name. That build just, just, I, I hate it. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> and, and those of you who asked, I mean, it is a little bit um, irrational. Maybe it's because, uh, you know, I just am bored of it. And um, fantasy, when he loses, uh, just ha just starts doing it all the time, and and just it's so frustrating because I think fantasy could do better without it actually, and he has shown he does better without it. And by the way, I don't mean that he shouldn't go mech. The fantasy build is just a very specific, very very timing dependent mech build, and if you mess up just one iota, um, it it just completely destroyed, and you have no recourse. I mean, what do you have afterwards? You got a bunch of dropships. A bunch of vultures with mines, and then uh, not meant not much else really. <laughs> you don't have much air defense, that's for sure. If your Valkyries get messed up, um, so right now we're gonna see uh, Gonzi actually pulling a decent attack. Lots of bats though, um, and uh, Jadong 
is just tearing it up with just a couple of lurkers. I think Gonzi has not been able to deal with the lurker threat, uh, especially lone lurkers, it seems, very well. Gonzi overwhelmed once again by a tremendous number of forces. Gonzi trying to pick up his third now at the left side. Not going to work out, though, it seems. Um, these science vessels are now keeping him in the game, but keeping him in the game and being able to win it are uh, two different things altogether. Um, and Jadong, wow, bringing up more lings against the undefended tanks. This should be it pretty soon here for Gonzi. Once he loses that third, I think uh, it's probably he's going to have to probably just concede here against Jadong. But I do think uh, he's a promising player, um, and he's shown himself to be one here. So, uh, ZVT, man, it has definitely gone through a lot of evolutions recently, and um, it's definitely one of those builds, one of those games where uh, the builds are changing quicker than uh, the other games, like, for example, ZVZ or um, PVZ. Well, no, no, sorry, not PVZ. PVZ is actually changing a good amount, but, like, PVP. And GG coming from Gonzi. So, hope you guys enjoyed this series. Uh, this has been the MST um, Group 8, and I do have one more MST Group. Um, for, for, for you guys to watch later on sometime this week when it does come out. Uh, that is the group with uh, Bisu in it. Bisu, Sarecom, and Gogo. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this series. We're going to be having more casts uh, of the Pro League and um, of other StarCraft games from Korea. Uh, I will once again be at the World Cyber Games Invitational tomorrow uh, on Sunday. And uh, maybe there will be some casts from there. I'm not sure. Um, if there'll be replay casts or what the deal is in general, but um, Jadon looking relieved actually. Uh, he was looking very tired to be absolutely honest, and I'm glad he won uh, despite the fact that he looked a little bit flash like. I don't know, man. Uh, he seriously looked like a flash for a while with the crazy facial twitches. You know, a sign of just uh, lack of potassium, man. I'm telling you, that's one of the signs. For all of you medical doctors watching, tell me what's wrong. Tell me what leads to young people having facial twitches. I just got an email from another group of, um, it looked like uh, actually doctors or residents uh, who say they watch my videos. So do tell me if you watch this video what you think causes facial twix, twitches for people like Flash and Jadon who are young um, but overworked and spend a lot of times indoors playing video games. So we'll see. Um, hopefully you guys have something interesting to say too. I'm actually really looking forward to that. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, once again, I am making just a, a brief call out for uh, for donations and pledges in case you do watch my videos a lot. Um, I am trying to work up to uh, getting a better system. I do have a new desktop, but um, still looking for just some other things to uh, improve the speed of the processing, um, some software especially, and uh, a better screen and all that. So um, anyway, if you're interested in that, go to my profile where you can find my uh, PayPal account a lot of you guys have already donated so far. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this whole series. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next cast. Oh, I just looked it up, doctors out there, and I actually think it might be Magnesium also, which is, of course, the Demotivator poster you're seeing right now. So, all those uh, StarCraft-loving MDs out there, go tell me what it was. Thank you.